this is Brad with the cutups. This is what I have to offer for the 2023-2024 snowboard year on what I've picked and what I think is going to go and work very well for me on the mountain, being an East Coast rider. What I'm going to start with, my old setup. Not the best thing that I've ever seen in my life. It's not the best board at all. I was working on a budget, all I could afford. So what I got was a nice set of ride bindings, medium flex, they're decent, but they're still low grade bindings. I got myself a Solomon Sight, whatever the heck. You know, I didn't really know what I was getting into. We have an all mountain directional board. You're really gonna be carving down the mountain, going one direction. I did learn board slides on this, 50-50s, presses. I had a good time with this board. Never gonna slam on it, even though what I call it as the slamming salmon. It's taking me everywhere. We have some Veil, some Brad, Keystone, Fever Creek, got it at Willie's. Gotta love Willie's. But she's seen some abuse. Going through the ringer, you little p tex fix up here. Looking at it, it's not gonna work. But for a first board, $380, not a terrible board to buy. Honestly, I was so happy with it when I went out to Colorado and rode the whole entire time. Everything was amazing. It was a great first selection board. Don't knock until you try it. But it is a reverse camber board, if I'm not mistaken. The concave, that convex, has given you a lot of control, a lot of tip and rear tip control to where you can carve really hard with this thing. And it really allows you to kind of balance and play. And it's only a 156, so we're going, I went with the chin height roll, as everybody always says. Put that done, chuck this in. That's that. Move on to boots. Man, these boots. They still smell good and I don't washed maybe once or twice, but clean socks every time. Got some 32s, shifty boas. You get that one boa system, liked it, but what I kept finding out, we get too tight around the ankle when I only wanted pressure up at the top of my shin. Put that stomp in force and I wasn't getting it because it's all deflecting, matched up with those ride bindings. Wasn't a terrible setup. I'm going to try it with the new boots. We'll get to those. They did good. I'm not a fan of the foam cushion on the bottom. Wasn't as grippy as I thought it might be. Oh, chuck them on over. Let's move on to the helmet. Man, it didn't really save me too much this year. She had some impact zone. A little coffee on it. A little tree neck stickers, what have you. Great helmet. Again, it's a budget, but got my boys repping. We got some more stickers. I'll gently place this one. Now moving on to goggles, man, or did I have any clue what I was getting into? These are what I started out with. The reason I bought these were because they were mag lenses and I thought they were cool. Look how ugly. Like I should be on skis and I don't want to do that. So we're kind of just tossing those to the side. I'm not going to lie. These were a ground score. They worked pretty well. I used them in Colorado. I used them everywhere I went. You all know, a cheapy pair of goggles. Maybe a $40 pair of goggles. I don't even know. But these are still good. So we'll put those back into a case. Moving on to the next part. These are my Burton gloves that I got. But before these, these <laughs> amazing turbine. Look at how destroyed they got. This is probably, this is one month of abuse. So see ya. See ya. And then we move to these. With those two weeks of Colorado, definitely not the gloves for me. I destroyed them. Not happy with them. Now we're going to get to the bibs, pants, whatever, underlayers, everything. So what I started with here, a pair of hand-me-down bulkums with a pre-cut, pre-burn hole. Taking a beating. I mean, they look, they look three years old. I might hand them down. I might not be a jerk to somebody, but off with everything else. Now, the only piece of attire that I'm keeping from last year, the Balkum jacket. Let's be honest, I haven't seen the board yet, but we're a stand. This is going to go perfect with that. I mean, come on, perfect, let's go. The other reason I'm keeping this jacket, it zips in to these bibs. I don't know if Balkum zip tech powder skirt at the bottom. It's my first time having the zip tech on the bibs. I forget the name of these, but man, are they worth every penny, I'm guaranteeing it. I have friends, they're 15,000 thermal rated. 
thing. Not the best that you can get, but damn good. With a good base layer on, you should be fine. These are going to be a lifesaver. Because last year, when I got eaten by the snow. Okay, so now that we've made the transition from old gear, new gear, and what I'm keeping from last year, that can hang out right there. My upgrades are as follows. And we'll start you with the board. The dirty board. A GNU GWO BTX. BTX, man. Banana. I mean, look at that serrated edge. Sheesh. But I'm going to love it. Since I live on the East Coast, the Ice Coast, I'm going to need this board. With the 156, again, 156 wide. I'm getting an extra half inch front and back. My favorite part, speed ends, is what they call them. They're the GNU Psych bindings. Slide in, speed in, step ins, I don't know, whatever you call them. Man, are they amazing. I have these mechanics here. Wife has a set up on that board, and they don't do this. What was that? You're telling me that when I go to release my board, it's gonna release my foot first? Ladies and gentlemen, that makes for a very easy step in pop in procedure. Man, does this work well. Doesn't stay bound unless the bindings are up, snapped in, and then you're good. You also have your high back adjustments. So I can lean in and lean out as much as I want, like you can, with just an of a knob. We'll leave that there so you can look at it. Now moving on, these bad boys right here. The Aurora Pro, and man, are they amazing to feel when you're walking. I can only imagine them on the slopes. They're just a really well put together boot. You got your double boa system. You can tighten down the bottom. You can release this whenever you want. I released the whole time. I'm up to the top, and you can bind just the top. Now my toes are breathing nice and loose. I can relax on my way up the slopes. Get there. Bank done. Amazing. I love it. Vans, you outdid yourself. I keep picking up this helmet like I want to talk about it. <clears throat> Not yet. Not yet, Pratt. For my goggle selection, I think you might like it. I'm going to love it. Check those out. Now, they're very similar as far as look goes. Size. Everything. The only difference, I believe, is the strap. So I might have to give these to my wife and I might have to run these even with these being the better lenses Ooh, Look at that Wow and these without a helmet, which I don't recommend. That's why there's one right there. I Don't know which one's better <laughs> All right so now we finally get to move on to the helmet one of my favorite pieces of gear just because of the safety as we see it's that lightweight beauty and the interior looks cool you know i don't think i'm gonna have any problems like i did last year with chattering on the helmet and heavy weight banging around because to be honest coming from a bmx background i really don't like things on my head maybe a beanie maybe a hat and even glasses or anything like that throw me off. So I don't like having anything that's gonna really bring me down. But man, I feel good. That is a nice snug fit. Let's go. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Wow. This is comfortable. High vis. I mean, dang. Even in this dull, drab, environment wow right here just the goggles and the helmet i don't need any of the gear this is all i need welcome to my backyard by the way i have a river <laughs> these are what i wanted this year do not fit in there they just don't so these are going to my wife she'll love them this is part of my progression piece though Without this, I'm nothing. If you watched all the way through, thank you. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe.
thankfully I became a snowboard instructor this year. So Non-certified, we will see how it goes. Wish me luck, fingers crossed. As always, keep cutting up.